I have this blue red control list featuring Hellraiser, Shark Typhoon, Seagate Restoration, but um, general thought is that Hellraiser is a really nice top end threat in these kind of like blue red control lists. I think that there hasn't been like a great reason to play this kind of strategy over like traditional Merktide, but Hellraiser is like a reason, which is kind of exciting. Um, Hellraiser is hitting Shark Typhoon is like really, really interesting and powerful. And uh, I also think that this is a deck that does a a good job of buying time. Hold on, I bought, the, I bought these uh, nice Hellraisers. This is a deck that does a good job of you know buying time until you have like nine cards in the yard. So like I think a, a pretty common line is going to be like turn five is when you like play Hellraiser with uh, with counter spell up or Hellraiser plus removal spell, which is kind of kind of exciting. Like that's the biggest thing for Hellraiser is it's, it is going to take some time to figure out and understand exactly what the requirements for the card are. And so like all these suggestions are reasonable, but the, 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 the real answer to all of them is we just need to play some magic, you know? Please tell you why Snapcaster is bad instead of Typhoon. Uh, you can't Hellraiser a Typhoon in the, or a Snapcaster into play. Dex looks really hard to get Delirium with. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I know, we have we, we have five good enchantment delirium enablers. Instants are free, lands are free, basically. Um, and so then you just have to have an iteration or a Hellraiser in the yard. And I don't I don't know how hard that is necessarily. Um, Y'all might be right. Like like one or two bobbles could really go a long way for delirium. But we'll just kind of see. Again, I'm 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 like definitely just kind of okay in this deck not having delirium in the early game, uh, and just using it as a shock. I think that that attitude is okay. Is two he fable instead of two heat can be good for delirium? Well, I, I consider fable for sure. I don't like that fable as a card that you have to tap out for and your counter spell back. Wouldn't it be that big a deal though? And fable is really good with Hellraiser, but um, I also don't think that enchantments are a difficult card type to uh, to get in this list at the moment. And so I don't I don't actually feel like fable helps a, a ton with delirium. Up against Mill, round one, uh, which is kind of funny against Hellraiser, actually. But probably a bad matchup. Would Anthonice be an upgrade to change the rocks, considering Snow Basics? Um, I, I don't think so, because the only way you can cast either of those cards is if you have the Triome in play, right? You have to have the Triome to play to cast either of those cards. When you have the Triome in play... Um, you can always cast Change the Rocks, and you can't always cast Anthonice. Or, sorry. Yeah, that, that, I said it the right way. I thought I said it backwards. Hellraiser and Scam. I have thought about Hellraiser and Scam. There, again, I, I've said this a lot. Hellraiser, a lot of potential, a lot of different... Um, I feel like we've been hitting, like, like nightmare matchups around one with, like, so many of these decks lately, by the way. Um, I have thought about it in Scam. We will see. We will see. Surgical my Typhoons. Gross. It's like burn round one with Devoted Druid. <laughs> Mill round one with this deck. There was something like yesterday too. Like a lot of like just terrible round ones. They should let me draw first. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I... To be honest, I feel like I see people misplaying with like surgical so often now like so much more often than they used to i think i don't really know what it is kind of want to keep the cascade bluff secret um yeah that way they they don't know i can cast this hellraiser yeah the unmoored ego round one for the reclamation deck that's right So they crack their fetch, I'll kill this in response, obviously. But you know, I also don't hate getting cards in the yard for Hellraiser here, which is going to be certainly an interesting dynamic for this matchup. In fact, maybe I'm supposed to go like... Yeah, maybe I just Prismari Command right now, huh? Two damage treasure token? Keep the spell snare up. Oh damn it! This is a wrong crab. I thought for sure this was the right. The, I thought for sure this was the two toughness crab. Damn it! I didn't. Oh, I guess I could have used the treasure. I was just a little stunlocked there, to be honest. Sorry, chat. 
I feel like I got Mandela affected. Where like I, I was born in a timeline where this was the O2 crab and then I am mentally transported to a timeline where it's the O3 crab. Why do you cast a dragon just now? Um, I think just hard casting the dragon for six mana is like worse than um, keeping my counter magic up here for a second. Still no delirium. I need an iteration, or I guess now that my Sark Typhoons are surge gold, um, trust down. I, I think that I would never play a Magma Opus in this deck. Just to consider, a 3 mana 4 4 flyer consider not terrible. Not great either. I uh, don't love graveyarding also and filling the yard more, but I think that we kind of have to. And I lost my other Hellraiser, so I'm actually missing a type still for Delirium, or one, one less type. Small Dancer is not playable in modern, seems to be like okay in Legacy. They draw an Archive Trap, because it seems like they've been waiting until they draw an Archive Trap to use that Field of Ruin. They did draw one, I'm going to fire off the Counterspell, it's not going to get too much better than this. And then I'm going to fire off the Spell Snare as well. Why is it not playable in Modern? Um, so one thing is it's competing with Dragon Rage's Chandler, Ragavan, which it does not have to compete with in Legacy. Dragon Rage's Chandler, Ragavan, Ledger Shredder, Murktide Regent to go in the um, Murktide Shell. It like it really only goes in the Murktide Shell. Like it's the it, it's the kind of like your know, blue red tempo card. It's not a prowess card. It's a Murktide card. Um, are they playing Jace? They are playing Jace. They mill me for fifteen. Oh, then they draw three. Um, and it, it and you know Re Legacy is also not a format that has Ren and Six in it, so it's much it's much worse against Ren and Six, in in uh in modern obviously because Ren and Six is legal and, um, <laughs> and it's not legal in Legacy. Hand bottom exile. So I think I have to bolt the. Bolt the crab. Oh, you know what? I should have filtered mana and then heated the heated the Jace. But I guess I can just use my treasure token here. It's probably fine. Um, but it's also true that like the, the card in Legacy, you have Ponder and Preordain and Brainstorm and Snuff Out as like you know good cheap spells to enable it. You don't have access to you know any of those cards in in this format. Um, there's also again a lot more cheap incidental removal in modern than there is in legacy. So it's just and force of will is better to protect these like two mana card advantage cards like dreadhorde arcanist. So it's just like it's it's a combination of a lot of things. These are these are the things that I, I think it's a combination of. Was it worth to kill the crab to have lethal? Um, I I did not have lethal if I killed the crab. Heat cannot target face, but even if it could, we're still like pretty short, right? Lethal this turn. Um, I don't know. I think I think I would rather like control the board slash you know have the potential to top deck a lightning bolt. Okay, down a game against well you know nightmare matchup in mill. Need these. Cutting the Prismari command, cutting the dress down. Her seems interesting. It's kind of nice against Jace. I think I'm down for one hearse, two Blood Moon, 63 cards. 
So now 31 months to kink you. Probably not play Blood Moon on the plane. Or on the draw, but we can play the main plane. I think you have to keep it in all the, the heats too. I know they're not great though. That surgical on the uh, Shark Typhoon definitely made the heats a lot worse. Yeah, I saw Tutors play Mill with Jace yesterday, the day before, and said he really liked it. Alright, on the play. Um, kind of a hard matchup to Mulligan in, but I think this one probably meets our Mulligan criteria. Go back second iteration. Hopefully they have the O2 crab this time. I mean, we also messed up really bad dealing two damage to the O2 crab. Not not that we would have necessarily won otherwise, but we would have been in better shape for sure. Isn't Snapcaster just better than Hellraiser? Um, it is not just better. No. Uh, I I I. <laughs> These, these just better comments like tend to stunlock me a little bit, but it should be somewhat obvious that like the Hellraiser has significantly higher upside to to Hellraiser, to Snapcaster. It's a 3-mana 4-4 four, four flyer, it's more mana efficient, flashing back most of your spells, can cast Shark Typhoon. Um, but yeah, but the 2-1 the, the creature body on Snapcaster I think is like actively mediocre to bad in modern at the moment. When you compare it to, um, oh gross! When you compare it to four four flyer, which is great, blocks blocks uh, channeler. No, yeah, but it does yeah, it does deal me psychic damage whenever I hear the just better comment. Oh, they get to play Jace through Blood Moon here. That's pretty good. Jace is looking sick. How Razor and Archmage Charm? Yeah, we have we have four Cascade Bluffs. P this has been a really common comment. How Razor Archmage Charm? I can't believe it, but we have four we have four Cascade Bluffs. It's a bit awkward, maybe with this Blood Moon here, but um, yeah, you know, sideboard card. I think with the four Cascade Bluffs, this, it just makes me not even concerned about it. Okay, so we draw a land. We can make a two-two shark kill this. Maybe we'll try to iteration into bolt. I guess I bolt the crab actually. Yeah, I'm okay bolting the crab over the Jace here. If I draw another land, I get to kill the Jace with the shark. Okay, second island. The, the Typhoon isn't very good against the Jace here because it's just going to get strong, so I think we need the Iteration. Um, what True Drop is Snare for? I believe they only play Drown. Uh, drown. Draw three more cards. Again, the nightmare matchup round one for sure. All right, let's move on. I think. Jace does seem sick in that deck. In action. All right, snap keep. Main deck spell snare seems narrow. Uh, spell snare is, I think, pretty good and modern is why I'm playing it. Um, Renin six, uh, Paladin, Underworld breach, Stoneforge Mystic, <laughs> um, kind of you know small short list of cards that I'm kind of expecting to to face with it. Hmm, what are they doing over here? I think I'm gonna hold up the snare. We'll see. Maybe maybe get like here but I, I think spell snare is well positioned it's also just like a good card your opponent spins uh two mana you spend one mana every single time you cast a spell snare it's a it's a positive exchange for you okay turn two tyvar 
Yeah, I was thinking if they, I was thinking that they are devoted druid and they have so many two drops, so we need to have the snare up on turn one here. Yeah, Legend Shredder is a nice one to hit. Uh, Counter spell, expressive iteration. Doesn't miss too many decks. Mostly bad against Cascade. Must get a think I'm crazy for not bolting the um, <laughs> the higher already. Blue red control against uh, devoted druid though very classic iconic. Uh, oh, that's a great draw. Iconic matchup here. Graveyard that Hellraiser. Although I guess if we spell snare devoted druid, they just can tie bar it back. But the, the dress down will help a little bit here at least. Why main phase consider? Um, I guess I was thinking that I wanted a Holy Heat for Tyvar, but I suppose we're not likely to actually use that in a meaningful way. But but also, like, I, I'm just going to be casting Consider with that mana. It's not like I'm doing anything else with it, also. Yeah, Main Deck Forge Tinder. I, I'm not a big fan of the Main Deck Forge Tinder, but it's, you know, maybe a little bit semantic y to some extent, right? So I would like for them to commit the mana for another Saga token here. Okay, and I don't see much reason in playing this dress down right now since um, all that would really do is prevent, like, inform their Saga token decision and prevent them from... No, they would still get to use the mana for Hierarch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I want to cast the dress down. Kind of nice that they they they've lost the devoted the, no, the noble hierarch mana now. About five cards in the arc for Hellraiser, so you know not quite there. But we can also draw a bolt or heat off this dress down and kill the Tyvar. Oh, what are they doing in combat? Oh, they're casting Eldarmer's Call. Not yet, at least. So let's see what they tutor with the Eladarmy's Call. I think it's almost always going to be like a Druid here. Yeah, but they've already played a land this turn, so they can't cast the Druid. So why don't I just bolt the Tyvar? They can't Forge Tinder it. Then I can just Spell Snare the Druid next turn. Maybe also Cycle Triome. That'll be one card away from Hellraiser. Okay, there's the one card for Hellraiser. Won't have the most impactful Hellraiser, but it, it's almost definitely going to cast the Consider the Bolt or the Dress Down. Oh, another Tyvar, wow. Pretty nuts. Spare Nair. Spell, spell Snare is actively good at Modern. It's been, it's been like, you know, like, I don't want to call it hot tech necessarily, but it's been putting up results in Modern for, like, several weeks now and is something I encourage you to play in your blue decks. Hmm. So we'll be able to play both of these this turn. Let's see what we draw. Heat. Heat's pretty nice. I think Heat lets me cast the Hellraiser here. I guess I didn't need to play my land yet. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I think that the band company list would be fine. So if I hit uh, Dress Down, I can heat the Druid without them being able to Forge Tinder. I can also just hit, yeah, just hit Bolt. Cast here. They'll Forge Tinder. I'll heat in response. For three mana, you can Snapcast your Bolt or you can Hellraiser Bolt. And one of these is just better than the other. Ooh, they can call Jimmy here, but I thankfully have Archmage's Charm. <laughs> Very lucky. Tyvar is so good, dude. Tyvar is the truth for sure.
Yeah, we just played a time. We just played a, a deck very similar to my opponent's. It's a, it seems to be a couple cards different. I wasn't main decking the Force Gender. Um, at least that's the only difference now. We, we just four one with it. We lost round one to Burn, and then we beat Scam, beat two Hammer Times, and then uh, beat Elementals. Pretty good gauntlet. They do have six mana. Actually, if they have a land, they can just move the Cauldra over, which is bad news. Another Tyvar? Wow. I didn't get to draw Tyvar nearly this often. Wow. Oh, maybe I should have I should have left this up because of um the dragon. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can't stop them from equipping, but I can encourage them to equip onto a forge tender that I can steal. Jace, eight months, thank you. Maybe it's good to just attack them with both also. Hit them for nine down to seven. The tie bar is just so scary though. And I think that they'll equip onto the Forge Tinder because it's pro red. Like I played a mountain, you know. Already played one Arc Rage's Charm. Third Tyvar. They, they don't have a Vizier in the yard. They don't have an infinite payoff. I think we just let this go. Or Four, fourth Tyvar. I guess I could have countered. I just I don't think it's I think it's fine to let it go though. If you don't have the commander tax for finale devastation, you think traverse would be a good sub. I probably play like court of calling over traverse. All right, so let's draw two here. Taking five kind of scary though. Hmm. All right, I'm down to just jam a Hellraiser, see what we uh, flip. Charm, Bolt, Consider. So if I Bolt them... Um, they have to do some blocking here. And then my Hellraiser should be able to... Um, block whatever they put the cauldra on. Okay, so they're gonna go to one. They have the forge center, so I can't just prismari command them right now. But I should be able to survive and then you know kill them next turn. Be hard for them to get out of this. I, I can I cannot shoot them because they have this to stop me from killing them, or like or at least it's not a good line to do so. It has first strike and trample, so it doesn't kill you if block. No, it, I'll get I get to absorb four power from the cauldra if I block. Right, so they have they have, they should have a total of six attacking power if they put on the one power creature attack with everything. It's it's not it's not first strike death touch first strike it, it doesn't work the same as first strike death touch does. No, I was not dead to reequip because I have a, a Hellraiser, not a Snapcaster. <laughs> Alright, just down, just down, needle. I think we bring in the change the rocks also. Prismar command's pretty good. Trimmer counter spell, trimmer arc rage's charm, and I think I just cut the considers. Maybe I'll keep in play with cut the typhoon and play one consider. Not random numbers, but it makes sense in my head. Maybe maybe something like this. Just some trimming. Cauldra is seven mana to equip. You could have stolen the one oh one blocker and win that turn. Um no, because if I steal the if I steal the Owen blocker, they can forge tinder my dragon before damage. 
What made Chain of the Rock Sniper card behind recently? Well, these these blue red decks like are weak to like are weak specifically to Sanctifier and Murktide Regent, and so just like the tech of Chain to the Rocks on the side, very much helps uh, answering both of those cards. Yeah, Fortune are also there's like like just the pro red cards are popular, and this is a good way to uh, combat those. Can't tell Razor cast both halves of Fuse. Uh, it can, yeah. Yeah, I think the Band Company deck's fine. I, I haven't played it in a while, but I have a hard time imagining it would be not fine at the moment. Fuses from hand only. Um, I, I thought that was the case, but someone told me like yesterday that is not the case. Maybe have some confirm or deny here. Should be okay with them cauldering me. I, I think that... Um, I I'd, I'd be okay with them just like hitting me for five, and then I can answer it with like either charm or um, change the rocks. Do you consider sacred fire for change the rocks? I don't think you need one, right? Because if you if you like you, I'm only playing. Yeah, I don't think you need one. I think just the the Rogren Triumph is fine. But like you could, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be bad to do so, right? So I might go like treasure token, kill Luxie, or change the rocks. That might be bad. We'll see what we draw. It'll be nice to find. Like two mana interactive spell maybe. Don't really want to steal the germ this time. Stealing the germ is probably fine. Okay, I think that dress down fits pretty nice here. The encounters are gonna the Merc Tablets. I don't think it'd be great at the very least, like without Cascade Bluffs. Hard to cast too. Um <laughs> Cascade Bluffs really solves a lot of problems. I, I think I think that like this is a better shell, a better blue red shell for the Hellraiser than um, that one. Fuse applies with the cards they both put in. Okay, I, I I thought that that was the case too. It sounds like it is the case. Um, I've been told wrong though. Doomwake Doomwake told me that uh, that's not how it works. So. I don't, I don't know if like the copy from Hellraiser was, doesn't work, but Doomwing says that if you Hellraiser into Rise Fall, uh, you're able to loop them. I and he was very excited for it. All right, so let's go two damage destroy, so that they cannot uh, make another Saga token. Could attract as you play a modern canister had like a pretty nice um, Goryeo's Vengeance draft for Atroxa. I think that I would be like, I'd be playing the Shadow Prophecy Leyline Binding package in that list though, since um, I think Leyline Binding answering like hate pieces and being like a good interactive spell to buy time is just so premium there. And Shadow Prophecy is a good enabler to set up too. But, and you know, dig for Gorio's Vengeance. But um, I, I do like his point that Atroxa finds, ooh, dude, so good at drawing Tyvar. I do like uh, Canister's point that like, Attracts a pitching of solitude, maybe makes it better than Gristlebrand. It also draws like a pretty comparable amount of cards to Gristlebrand, um, with like the ephemerate tack. So there, there's there's some stuff to like for sure. Sorry, not rise fall. Whatever the 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 breaking entering. Yeah, breaking entering. This is what we're talking about. Oh, untap devoted druid. I mean, they can't have many more equipment in the deck. If they put a Batter Skull into play, it's also like pretty fine here. Just gonna make a 3-3 Shark. Man, I haven't been like Shark Typhoon Arc Mages charming in a long time. Feels nice. Uh, we 4 one with uh, the Devoted Druid deck. The day, yeah. Failed to find equipment. Imagine second culture here. Yeah, I don't think we need to ever really counter this, just kind of whatever they get. 
Even if they get a druid, I'm probably just making a 4 4 shark and uh, <laughs> killing it on my next turn. They tutored up a noble hierarch. So sad. Seem is pretty in the bag. Best card in the matchup. You can have your devoted druid opponent or your hierarch. Isn't it better to counter to do a druid that doesn't go to the grave for Tyvar? No, it's way better to like my opponent's like stuck on two lands. It is it is so much better to um, so much better to just like make them use the mana to counter to cast something else and time walk them rather than you know giving them the more time. All right, two damage, destroy. Like like a Tyvar is not going to resolve. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to resolve resolve a Tyvar here. Right, blue red control versus devoted druid and modern is healing modern is healed <laughs> or do you just want they hear to be good uh i mean i just cut it <laughs> all right pretty cool hand burn okay this this not as much of a nightmare matchup but maybe not a good matchup shout out to cascade bluffs yeah so this would be pretty cool this would be pretty cool This is Mono Redburn. Yeah, yeah, Lotus, Lotus Field, putting stuff in the grave is nice. It's kind of hard to play fetches, though, in that deck. Any way to make that Boros deck work in Pioneer? You lose a lot of the cards, but... Maybe you have some. You have a lot of them too, I guess. Hope we don't get Ider, uh, Eidolon. There, answer for Eidolon, I guess. Yeah, this is my natural habitat, Jesse. <laughs> and I love filter lands. Look how good it was here. All right, probably gonna Archmage's Charm counter this. Lots of people saying Titans broke with Mike and Sith Goddens. Uh, okay, so, there, so there's a chance that everybody's saying Titan is broken with Mike and Sith Gardens, or just maybe realizing that Titan's like been like pretty broken this whole time. That that is like that that is like very possibly what's going on here. Uh, that being said, that being said, um, <laughs> let's cycle this. I guess it stops me from playing a Hellraiser if I like this though. It's not the worst draw. Um, yeah, Titan is maybe just broken, is, is kind of my thinking, but I, I, I am interested to see Gardens in action. Uh, I haven't seen it in action yet. If they have bolts, I can bolt back. Could maybe bolt their face. No, I want to keep the bolt for a future creature. Gardens definitely increases the turn two, turn three kill chances. So I, I explain the turn two kill to me, because it's like I understand the turn three kill chances, right? You go turn one, land amulet, turn two, copy your garden, right? And then boom, you're set up pretty well to um, I guess I'm gonna go hand the bottom exile. Then, then like I understand you're set up pretty well to like turn three have two amulets in play. But th how does it, how does it let you kill on turn two? I 
Can I draw a Hellraiser, please? Shark Typhoon? I'll take a Shark Typhoon. Training a sport effects format thing? Yeah, sure. I, just, I was just wondering if there was, like, maybe a more concise explanation, but maybe not. Maybe it's not that deep. You need Grazer, Explorer, Zeus to bounce land. Okay. Be a cool game to win. I always like blue red control against Burn. Very fun matchup. Just good to get like this mana traded now. So trading later. They also definitely don't have a second bolt in their hand, I think, because they you know they just drew this one and they didn't have a bolt earlier. I, there's a lot of math to do here on if we could brick or not. I'm just going to cast it. <laughs> Alright, hand, bottom, exile. No math, just cast. Hand, bottom, exile. I think I just sacked the treasure. Bolt you. Pretty sick. Uh, I could probably let this one go so we don't die to like land Boros Charm. I mean, double counter spell isn't better. I mean, I can't. That's not how iteration works, right? What am I missing? Oh, have to have four mana. I don't think we need double counter spell at four life. We can just let something resolve. Like, here they're just very unlikely to have, like, land plus two one mana burn spells. I think it's basically impossible the way this game's gone. So I feel pretty comfortable just typhooning. Yeah, the, this this is pretty sick. I, we haven't got to do it yet. I really want to. But even just, like, like just th three mana, four, four cast any of these spells is just sick. And, it, and, you know, it, obviously there's a million good blue-red shells, and Hellraiser doesn't fit very well into Prowess, and doesn't fit very well into... Um, it doesn't fit very well into Murktide, I think. I do I do think that Control... Like, like it, you, you get to have functional mana with your Cascade Bluffs, and you get to buy time until you can go, like, Hellraiser plus Counterspell up. Very, you, know, you have the, like, Shark Typhoon Nut Draw. That, this, this, this shell feels like it does have the... Um, you know, more potential than some of the other shells we tried. Although I did like the mono red version. Oh, we did it! <laughs> we did it. Is it better than casting charm here? I mean, probably not, but we did it. <laughs> Final record for red green. So we we ended up like changing some things with the list at the traverses, and we three two with the traverse list. Uh, I, I like the traverses. I want. I need to marinate a little bit, but the red green deck was pretty. It was pretty sick. I honest, I, I feel like a little bad only spending like one league on all these stuff today, but like we, I, I think that this is I, this is how I do it every time, and I, I always regret it. But it's like I do like one league with these decks, and then I just do like one or two leagues a deck for like two weeks, and then we we have we have like twenty decks, and then I never know what to circle back to after that. <laughs> this is for the pro pro red creatures. But it's just, it's just so fun. I can't help myself. What can I say? Yeah, it's, it's fun at first, but I, I, I worry that, like, people are less interested when we turn to the decks, and um, it's maybe not best in the long run. It's a good problem. Yeah, it's a good problem to have, I'd say. Just maybe not the best stream structure overall. Oh, well, I guess my opponent only showed me mountains. They're probably I probably shouldn't have brought in the chain to the rocks. Oh boy. Yeah, they they're like actually really just not gonna have any sanctifiers. Hmm. 
And I'm not going to have any removal spells, huh? Turn one garden, amulet. Turn two, bounce land, copy amulet, play grazer, use of seven. Yeah, that seems sick. Wow. Triple goblin guide, so spear. Whoa! Saw blade scamp. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put an oil counter. Remove an oil counter, one damage. Goodness. Let's uh, go to game three. Something like this. Yeah, just dead to the scan there. All Wincoms, one year, happy anniversary. I keep this. If they play a turn one creature, I probably have to get a Steam Vents to bolt since I count I need to like be able to counter the next creature here. If only I had Cascade Bluffs. So maybe maybe I should have played Flooded Strand with that if that was my plan. It looks like we're gonna have plenty of time to play Flooded Strands, huh? Put on the one lander. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna wait on the iteration here. It's like loot, make a treasure end of turn. If I don't kill something. Okay, I'll probably make a treasure, kill the guide. Okay, maybe I guess I guess looting now the guide's giving me two lands, huh? Thank you, Goblin Guide. Two free cards. Yeah, I think I'd be interested in making a 2 2 Shark. Get a little bit of pressure. Also, if my opponent plays Saw Blade Scamp, plays well around Swift Spear or Scamp here. <laughs> we are. I maybe should go to Basic Mountain, but whatever. We're officially in the Saw Blade bracket. Love playing draw go. You just have to draw, then say go. It's sick. Um, I mean, I like to play test cards. <laughs> I I do enjoy play testing new cards. So let's go ahead and uh, exclamation point steal. Wow, an oil counter. It's pretty sick. Another oil counter, don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, I, sorry, actually to play control you have to draw your card, then you have to tank, 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 and then you say go. It's actually very hard. <laughs> play tested. Right, so spins a rift bolt. Drag on. I do like this, you know, just razor with mana up has been pretty sick so far. Three lands now. Might counter one more burn spell pointed at me. Down to six, so if I find no counter spells, no bolts. There's well, I guess. Yeah, that that, that should keep me alive. Control, very difficult deck to play. You have to really think about all of your decisions for forever. Tank 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 spell pierce. Bolt. Think, 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 attack. We don't change rocks by removal options. Yeah, I, so like again, these blue red lists tend to struggle with um, Sanctifier and Murktide. 
and just like what white source plus chain on the side I, i've liked it a lot i think it is better than i can get away with in this list with six blue sources because i have four cascade bluffs you have zero cascade bluffs um so like you would need to play cascade bluffs over fiery islet you would need to play like two more over two of these islands and you maybe have to cut like a fetch for four cascade bluffs i'm not really seeing the mana working otherwise So I want those changes made, and then you can play like one reunion for combo kill if you really want. Not mandatory, not even necessarily recommended. Um, you can play it over the fourth as we're told after you've played, but four mending in over the reunions. Okay, I guess reunion coming back to resurgent belief. Maybe that is better. Maybe that is better actually. I don't know. I don't know that it is. It's like bringing this back is kind of mid. Like you're mostly like an omniscience combo deck, right? Like you're an omniscience combo deck your combo is putting omniscience into play um like the like the more made link like get back a shark typhoon get back a belief maybe that just doesn't matter as much all right i think i should bolt this in blue white control i usually actually really like the play of steal the token with archmage's charm on turn three because then they have a really hard time tapping out for creativity on turn four because it's really cold to solitude um that being said, uh, without Solitude in the stack, my opponent can pretty easily tap out for creativity, so I think it's probably best not here. <laughs> Every deck needs four Cascade Bluffs. <laughs> Once, back when Mystic Sanctuary was around, I built a blue-red control deck with zero islands at all, no Steam Vents, no Basic Island. Um, four Cascade Bluffs really tied the room together well, but I did it so I could play Boil in the deck. Here we go. It was blue, blue boil, and it was actually pretty sick. <laughs> Cascade Bluffs hard carried. <laughs> Temple of Epiphany was great. Had the, had the pathways. All right, so if they creativity here, which I really doubt they would, but if they do, I'll steal, and then we get to uh, dragon. No. Oh, exile target creature. That creature is controller, right? Okay. So I would like to be... I can't believe this is happening. This is, like, just a paid actor moment. No, that wasn't the deck I boiled Dingo with. Dude, Hellraiser is so good. <laughs> just... Just... Snapcaster is just better. I've actually thought about it, though. Snapcaster is just better. Probably not the best point though to make that you know sassy argument. This is like like why did my opponent do that? <laughs> what a blowout though! Crazy blowout. <laughs> yeah, Emrakul would have been better. We should be playing Emrakul instead. <laughs> what just happened? So my opponent cast Transmogify on their creature. I stole their, their 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 token in response and uh, transmogrifies that creature's controller exiles cards from the top until they reveal a creature. So I stole it. I'm now the creature's controller. It's still targeting the excuse me. It's still targeting the dwarf. And then I get to Hellraiser flashback charm gel too. <laughs> More three months. Kobe with the three. Thank you. Thank you. Do Emrakul also better against Mill? Solving the Mill matchup, solving a lot of problems here. Emrakul, uh, the problem solver. Well, now they have two targets, so. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm casting Prismari Command. I'm going to counter the spell. Do it again? I mean, they st it's, it's not correct to do it again. They still get an Archon, right? Could steal and basically negate. Um, nope. I, I might, I'd probably just lose to the Archon. It would be very fun to, to steal again. I understand, I understand but... I, the, I mean, I guess I could Oda War the Archon. It seems bad use of mana. Steal and bolt. I mean, I don't. I, I would if I had a bolt in my hand. <laughs> Why is change the rocks in the deck? We've said this a lot, but um, it's good to say it again. So I, this is tech I've been liking in a lot of blue red decks, or like most specifically prowess. And then there was 
like um, another blue red deck recently, but I think these kind of strategies tend to struggle against exactly Sanctifier and Murktide Regent, and so just like a mountain and change the rocks on the side has been a really good way, I think, to to try to deal with those two things. Okay, so now I can go two damage treasure token. Oh, two damage treasure token. So two damage treasure token into steel. They could spell pierce though. Elevation, 17 months, thank you. Well, I guess I'm glad that they spell pierce now. So I just pay. Spike doesn't get spell pierce, challenge impossible. Got discard second typhoon, kinda close. I do have the Odawara. But I don't have another land, which is kind of the problem, huh? I mean, they've already used three creativity effects. Let me just go ahead and cast this Consider. I do have Unholy Heat in the deck, after all. Okay, no Heats in the yard. So we'll just Oda War now. Next year we can go Hellraiser with Charm up. Yeah, if we losing this game after that line would be crazy. But I mean, the Archon's a really powerful card. Oh, they can. No, oh, they're, they're, what's they They need two more lands to hard cast. Okay, they don't have anything. Go, go, shark, typhoon. Dude, Hellraiser has been so sick this whole week, except for the match against Mill. We were gonna forget about the match against Mill. But it, 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 this is this has really been like the first league where it's felt like the card I wanted it to feel like. Maybe the mono red list, kind of, but. I feel like I feel like you know the lists are feeling a bit cleaner, I guess. I really don't like Hope of Gieper. I don't think I'd play it. Just like like this this deck is just a, such a good fit for it, where like you're not able to play it on turn three or turn four that often, but like turn five with mana up is just so sick. And being a control deck, you're allowed to play like four and five mana uh top end cards. Yeah, the mill deck was playing the new Jays. New Jays look pretty good. The problem earlier is you spend so much cheap cards enabling everything else with cheap crap. Yeah, I think to some extent. Like, so that's why it, it felt pretty good in the Transmogify deck. But the problem was that, like, Transmogify was, like, so much worse than Creativity. So you, there's still maybe a way you could play it in Creativity. We'll return to it at some point, I'm sure. But this, this, this has been the best fit for it so far. Okay, end of turn. Two damage treasure. Likely gonna set up for a hard cast Archon after killing this with a bolt, which is fine. We can counter the Archon. Hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and cycle. I really want to hit my land drops here, and I want to get more cards in the yard for hell another Hellraiser. I guess I only have one Hellraiser left in the deck, though, so maybe that's not. Um, maybe that wasn't actually as good as I thought it was. Probably fine. Yeah, 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 Tutors did well with the uh, Jason Mill. I, I, I like to look at that list. I think it seems fine. Like the deck for Oma. If you post a link in the chat, I'd be happy to take a look for you. I think it's Typhoon time. Four. Best time of the day. Welcome, Spikelings, to the Shark Typhoon. Look how good Spell Snare is, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go kill this, kill this, hold up charm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Typhoon, top five cars I want to show to an MG player in 1997. <laughs> it's pretty good, uh, pretty good pick. No, wait. No, wait. Listen, I, I'm so, I'm just going to use all of my value, value, valuable, valuable control time. <laughs> My my uh, my clock. If I if I wait here, we could have had lethal this turn if we used heat instead. Um, who cares? <laughs> we just have a counter spell up instead. I also don't think that that's true. Well, we could have lethal anyways. You know what I mean? Like pl planning for like lethal on like the upcoming turn with control. I just I don't think it matters very much. You can still find a bolt, you know. Bringing in these four, cutting all the bolts. Um, I think I'm cutting dress down, trimming on command. I think I like hers. It's like a solid. In I'm gonna bring in needle for Ren, at least the first hers. On the draw, blood moon is not as good. Could still play one. Uh, we do have a Seagate Restoration cast count. It is zero. No, not three months. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's a bit harder on the draw. It's not as free in this deck as it is in other blue red decks too, because of the four of Archmage's charms. I could I could just be wrong. But also, like, people always talk about how, like, bad, good Boon is against creativity. But, but like, creativity is also a deck that is, like, playing four creativity, four fable, four transmog... Or not four transmogify, but some transmogify. And, like, and they do, they do have outs to it. Like, they, they're going to... They have spell pierce, too. Um, it's not bad against them, but it's, it's also, like, just in this deck, especially not going to be game over. I think you're not a doctor within three months. This deck has been really sick so far. <laughs> as soon as I saw the Mika Koro, I'm like, we're up against middle round one. I'm like, what? <laughs> a little bit stunned. We could put an Emrakul in the sideboard, maybe. Uh, Mill might be a bit popular enough to respect in the sideboard with the new Jace coming around. But but I, I will say, Hellraiser has been awesome in this list so far. It's been like... Just, just really, really sweet. Okay, punts on the mold of six. We have a spell snare for a Ren. Cascade Bluffs is uh, hard carrying as usual. Getting the um, Rogan Trium also incepts. <laughs> Incepts uh, no blood moon for game three, and being will be much better on the play. Red and six with spell pierce up would uh, suck. Hold on, let's uh, let's actually get you set of our cascade bluffs. There we go. <laughs> Don't know. Don't think my opponent will let me Archmage's Charm blow out again. But what a turn that was, huh? Why chain rocks over something like Path? Uh, it's better than Path. Um, you can tell me what it's not better than. And we can talk about it. But I, I think it's the best option. Path, Path to Exile is you know like not a good card. Chain Rocks is awesome. It's it's you know this the purpose of the card is also to beat it's like specifically Sanctifier and Murktide, so um I think it does that, you know, really well. Anthonice, yeah, so people keep suggesting Anthonice, but like if the only way you can cast this card right now is off the Rogren Triome, you can always cast Chain to the Rocks when you have your Rogren Triome in play. You cannot always cast Anthonice when you have Rogren Triome in play. And if you're bringing it in against, like, Hammer Time and Murktide mostly, um, if you're bringing it in against Hammer Time and Murktide mostly, it's not like, it's not like, um, they're gonna have, like, Ghost Quarter against you. 
Well, they're paying costs. What can they have here? Cycle Veil, okay. Deal. No, I, I, I think that's definitely true, Jesse. Surely nobody's cast Archmage's Charm off a mountain more than me. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta have something going for you in life, right? All right, this is this is pretty cool. This is you know, Hellraiser with Counterspell plus Spell Pierce or Spell Snare up. Have four good hits, five bricks, so pretty likely to hit here. Could the new white bitter blossoms you play in modern well the you know bitter blossom no is not very good and like this is you know about as bad as bitter blossom i think i'm down just to stop them from cycling here they're missing lane drops just just trade like i'm pretty ahead on cards so just like trading one for one at any point I think it seems fine Moving Hellraiser back into mid on my new card's power ranking. Let's go back to mid. <laughs> I don't I, again. I don't. It doesn't fit everywhere, but it's a really powerful card, and it, it has been awesome this league. It has been like like actually awesome all league, except for the mill match, <laughs> which doesn't count. Um, yeah, I think just Archmage's Charm Counterspell up is probably a bit better than Iteration here. Especially with, uh, having a good amount of pressure. I'm gonna try Fable in the back as a good hit off Dragon. Uh, I think I, like, you, you play Fable over Prismari Command. I think that because this is, a, like, a draw-go deck, um, I'm, I'm more interested in playing Prismari Command. But you could play Fable over Prismari, it'd be okay. It's, like, F Fable and Dragon go really well together because, like, also just, just, like, copying, uh... Ooh. Copying uh, your dragon's really good. Alright, let this one resolve. The biggest upside of Fable is more consistent delirium. I actually, and, and funny enough, I don't think we're really hurting for enchantment as a card type because we have the Typhoons and the Dress Down. It, it, it would be like a little bit better for delirium than Prismari Command, but like not by not by so much, right? Yeah, we have hit Shark Typhoon off Hellraiser, although it happened in a game where we were, like, never going to lose. Uh, Tiber was awesome, Drew. We went 4-1, we went we lost a close match to Burn, then we went 4-1. So I feel like we may have a history repeating itself here, where... Um, with the Devoted Druid deck, we had one of the worst matchups possible, Burn, round one. Uh, but then we 4 one This time, we had, like, worst matchup possible, Mill, round one. And I think we're about to be playing for the 4-1. Yeah, Tiber, Tiber has definitely looked great every time I've cast it, too. Uh, Alright, we are 3-1, and one. let's, let's uh, get the 4-1 prediction going, but this this has been an awesome league, very good stream today. This is, this is usually how it goes too, like the first couple streams of the new set are just shaky because brewing is hard and it just takes time to play with the cards before lists get hammered out a bit more, but today, today's stream has been awesome. The Rot Priest deck was awesome, the uh, Darua deck was awesome, this deck's been awesome. Great stream. As a dead one, brings light one research and belief. I mean, bad, probably, but you could just, like, also just suspend Resurgent Belief. You don't need to play. Um, bring to light. Okay, we're up against Obosh. No lands. Yeah, there is a prediction live. Okay, against the Obosh deck, let's put back Spell Snare. <laughs> let's put back Spell Snare. Do 
probably going to get stomped. Misha's research desk, we're done. Yeah, Small Snare does stop Bone Crusher Giant. Or I should say it can, I suppose. Getting a, uh, a blue source is kind of nice in case they Blood Moon. I would prefer for them to not Blood Moon this turn. Yeah, I, I know, like, again, you can Snare Snop, but uh, it's it was definitely the card to put back here. Opponent with no uh, playing. <laughs> what did they, they didn't crack the desk? What's going on? I think I'll grieve with this for mostly for Hellraiser. Then we'll have uh, two Typhoons in the yard. With tw oh, I should I should definitely play Scalding Targets. We'll have two Typhoons in the yard for uh, twice the chance of hitting it. Just Snowy, three months, thank you, thank you. Glad you're liking the stream. All right, end of turn research desk into Relic. No! Curse you, Hayashi. Always relicking me. Six. I guess we can kind of shape our um, Hellraiser, though. Although... They'll, they'll be able to like pop it in response to the trigger. I guess I'm gonna wait on the cycle. Field of Ruin, not Blood Moon? Sometimes both. It was quite the combo. Yeah, I, I might just hard cast the shark. I think that's not the, the worst thought. They're, if they're gonna spend all the time, okay, they hit another relic. Could maybe hear me scream no. Yeah, but if they're just gonna you know chill like this, I can uh, I can chill as well. Then they'll take a blast zone to six. <laughs> yeah, this is maybe the four of Soka's on list. Could be. Alright, plays a Bone Crusher Giant. Maybe we get three three shark in the turn. We'll see. I guess we'll also see if my opponent ever cycles a relic. No, of course not. Okay, sorry, I'm out. sorry, Mr. Duck Tech. Um, like seventeen minutes ago. Why, why don't you uh, go ahead and just pop in tomorrow or whenever you're whenever you're here next? And we'll do it. Okay. Don't uh, don't let me scam you. If I miss it in the future, just yell at me too. Of course. They have a shark. They have a boss. That's a two for one though. That's a two for one right there. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, a four four a four four flyer into play. That makes them sacrifice a relic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cursed by our uh, Cascade Bluffs. Sometimes against new cards, people mess up too. Yeah. How's the performance so far? It's been really good. So we lost a mill round one, which is like Nightmare Zone, but. Um, Hellraiser's been awesome. It's it, Hellraiser's not very good against the four main deck relic deck. I'll, I will uh, concede that though. <laughs> I will concede this point. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, the, the, the mill deck did play Jace. Jace looked great. Jace looked awesome. Okay. So I guess I'm going to go kill Relic, kill Fable, and make them at least use there. Um, make them at least use their treasure token. Yeah, we can kill the Ragavan pretty easy. We can play Hellraiser next turn. Probably leave this in hand to loot away to the Prismari command. It was pretty good. We, I think every single game we lost was to Mana Flood or Mana Screw. We ended up going 3-2. and two, But like the, the deck definitely looked really nice. Does it make sense to main deck relics? Uh, I don't think like you should really stare into the void of like this mono red Obosh deck and try to make too much sense out of it, but like it's turn nine, my opponent's discarding season Pyromancer. It's just like just nothing that this deck nothing ever makes any sense. Not playing the land. I'm not playing the land because I want to be able to loot it away uh, when I flash back Prismari Command next turn, which I said already. Deck's definitely very cool. Deck's definitely very fun. Uh, it's just, it's just you don't have to stare into the void too often, you know. It's it, all you'll be met with is madness. Um, I'm a bit worried about them. <laughs> Relicking me again? Yeah, I'm a bit worried about them relicking me again. I'll just I'll just play my Hellraiser. Not a huge rush on this iteration. Yeah, Hellraiser's been awesome in this in this deck so far. Again, not very good against the four main deck relic deck, but um, has this it has been an awesome league with Picard. Bit worried about this Obosh. I guess I can discard the bolt, and if my opponent um, kills my Hellraiser, then I can have Delirium to kill the Obosh. Maybe I'll just get to counter it. Maybe they go like Obosh plus Burn Spell on the. Oh, just Fury? Okay, sure. Kind of scary. I will have Delirium if they don't have a Relic. Big if. Could counter Stomp. My opponent's, like, I think even been, like, intentionally playing around Stomp, funny enough. So why don't we just... Heat the Fury, and then pass. Counterspell Charm up. Don't think I'm going to bother floating mana here. Waiting one turn, let's use Mario Kart in the Fable. Yeah, those may be a good reason to wait on the, the Hellraiser. How many threats are left? We think we still have, we have two Sharks, one Hellraiser left. Uh, I have an interesting he Ephemerate Hellraiser show, but that might be tomorrow. I definitely want to work on the Abzan Tyvar midrange deck for tomorrow. Maybe we've got some other stuff we could try. Um, unironically, like, Blast Zone on 6 it is an issue as far as... Um, as far as trying to... Okay, I, have, I still have two Steamboats in the deck. As far as trying to hard cast the typhoon goes, so I guess I could just go cycle for a ton, hold up counter spell, because I really just need to counter the Obosh for this turn, probably, or Fury hard cast. Any innovations for Fate Stitcher deck? Yeah, I haven't really been working on the Fate Stitcher deck. Um a lot of lands. Thankfully we still have a good amount of action. I mean, if that shock doesn't feel amazing, but well on our way to stabilizing. 
Oh boy, do I become a certified spike? I'll let you know if it ever happens. It hasn't happened yet. Didn't copy didn't didn't copy didn't doesn't actually work. I, I don't ask me why though. I just know it doesn't. Tell me why copying din with reflection doesn't work. Tell me why. <laughs> When I put in steam vents, it does hurt. Tell me why. My shark's only a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> um, so block here. Don't die to two bolts. Block here. Get this killed by Flame Slash, which we've seen. Or Fury. I'm just going to block like this, right? Poke. Poke me with Spike Field. Spike Field Hazard for the win. We're getting Blood Moon. Bring a Needle for the Relics. I'm gonna play Dress Down. The Snares. Two Pierce. I don't think I want Hearse. Curse could be okay. Hellraiser similar to Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, that's I've been saying this the whole time. Hellraiser is a Bloodbraid Elf, not a show and tell. It's just like a really good value card. Um, and it's, it's random what you get like Bloodbraid Elf. We did trade Boros Stoneway with Dude Nahiri. I liked the Nahiri, but figuring out the 75 has been tricky. Um, it has not been an easy list to hammer out, I think. Hellraiser and John. We might try Hellraiser and Rakdos. We had like mono red mid range and it was good there. The hero doesn't seem good enough for the slots. Yeah, I mean, to, to some extent, it's like a solid planeswalker uh, in a format where like planeswalkers aren't that good, but it's. I, I liked it a lot. Like, it, it was even better than I expected it to be because I didn't even realize that. Um, I thought the plus one was just creature had to attack. I didn't realize the, the plus one was creature has to attack. Uh, a player so like the plus one can defend itself if you have no cards in your hand the other plus one um I'm agree with that. the other plus, if you have no cards in your hand your the other plus one just draws a card um in addition to the, the zero being pretty good so I, I i don't know we'll see we'll see i did like it though so much value But I, but I think you probably just want to play like two copies. Oh, I, but also Sword of Forge and Frontier felt pretty good yesterday as well. While they chose Lightning Bolts over the land? Kind of shocked. No, sorry. I'm kind of bolted. Ha 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 ha. We also might get to uh, live the dream and discard Seagate to Prismari Command and then. And then Calraiser it. Wouldn't you compare Hellraiser to good old Reveler as top end value play? Uh, I mean, you could compare it to Reveler. I don't know that I would. Um, I feel like it's more similar to me to, than a blood to a blood braid off because it doesn't you know empty your hand and, but it's it's kind of maybe semantics at that point. Why not four Hellraiser? Well, just kind of like control decks will really often not play four to fairy or four Jace or. Um, you know, four of their like top end spells because like they're bad to draw on multiples early. That's that's the same the same reason why we're not playing four here. I think I'm just gonna make a two two shark. I know it's like not the best in the sport, but I need. I think I want the treasure for the for mana in general, but also it's for uh, Hellraiser. Would not object to two iterations here. I think we'll just go ahead and play this tapped. Attack for two and pass. Uh, I don't think I went over Mulligan decisions, Mr. Win. That's more of like a deep dive. Um, 
I, I I think I touch on the topic of keep him, keep some mulligans in the in the hands like, but not super duper in depth. But like, you know, on a very kind of surface level, you want hands with a plan in any deck, and this is you know true here of course. But as far as like the plans that you're interested in, I think I'm gonna heat this off the treasure. As far as the, I'm oh, sorry, bolt this off the treasure and keep heat for Obosh. Um, as far as like the types of hands you're interested in with the deck, um, like you you mostly want like an Anvil or Tron in every seven card opening hand. Um, you want you want you want to be able to. Hmm. I don't feel like I need to counter this. So like like yeah, e either like turn three Tron or turn four Tron or like an early Anvil in, in either of these opening hands. You have a few hands that you can keep that don't have those. Mostly hands with lots of selection, but those are the main things you're looking for. Warriors Bolt over Heat. I want to save this for Obosh, which can be a difficult card to deal with in this deck. And I don't think that I'm like very close to bolting my opponent's face, and if I'm bolting my opponent's face, I'm likely winning. I still want to find a place for Forge on the side. That's interesting. Um, I haven't, but... I mean, there's been a couple moments you've like you've wanted it, but I think I think it's it's kind of an interesting conversation to talk about. But I think I think it is better in the main than the side, the fourth one. Okay, there's a Hellraiser. So yeah, I would love to li live the dream here of Hellraiser into Seagate. That'd be awesome. I'll take a ty Typhoon though. We have three really really good hits. We can try again next turn if we miss. I'll also try again this turn. I think I'll just go ahead and... I can cast Prismari Command for loot and a treasure, but I think it's just better to, to iteration here, right? Hmm. What about Sinkhole? I don't know. I honestly don't really understand why people are so obsessed to delving in response to how Razor's trigger. It just seems so unnecessary to me. Just really does not seem like the vibe can't wait actually change when the mustn't thank you ever getting another into the story deck hopefully one day it's just kind of cool yeah it's kind of cool like i think you could do a become immense maybe we'll try it at some point but it just it just doesn't seem like that big a deal Heat a token. That doesn't seem very necessary. I'm at, yeah. Oh, oh, from the iteration. Yes, yes. I should have done that. Forgot about it. If you, yeah, sure. If, if yeah, if we could get decked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have dicked, I mean, you could do that in Pioneer, maybe. In this format, it doesn't seem like that uh, big a deal. All right, Dead Hellraiser. All right, come on, Shark Typhoon, Seagate. Although we'll, you know, we'll take like, you know, <laughs> the other cards. I just want to do it. We 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 hit one Typhoon earlier. Okay, just to consider. But my opponent concedes anyways. Okay, going to game three. All of the marbles on the line. <sighs> Let's go. I think one hit sinkhole for heat. I, it's just hard for me to want to play sinkhole in the Merktide Ragavan format. You know, it's like so bad against both those cards. Speaking of the Ragavan format, I kind of have to keep this and lose to Monkey if I don't top deck a Burn Spell. Awesome. Can spell Pierce a Relic this turn? That would be so, so, feel so good. How do I find playing now compared to when I was a trophy race? I mean, I I enjoy the pressure and the competition of the trophy race, but boy, do I also like, I feel like the content, like the stream quality is better. I play more brews. I, I find more interesting decks when the stream is more normal like this. Like when the stream is like this, I'm able to brew and play whatever and get really weird with it. But when I'm playing the trophy race, I have a lot of grinding 
and like a lot of meaning meaningless <laughs> uh, menial grinding too that isn't very fulfilling I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play iteration here I think it's pretty close I guess, you know, yeah, go go to discard here is probably means I, sh I shouldn't have done it, huh? I just had three in my hand, you know? Why, do, why don't you right-click pass and turn instead of clicking? I, I do sometimes, uh, it kind of depends, but... I'm usually just not that bothered with, like, the, the shortcuts because I just play fast anyways. I'm not trying to save a lot of time. Like I'd like to be I don't use the key I don't use the the numbers oh, no now they relic. I don't use the keypad uh or the keyboard because I like to be able to talk with my left hand. <laughs> don't love taking four here. I think we probably have to. Yeah, I don't think we have the luxury of Archmage's Charm Relic, unfortunately. I think if I bound yes to my keyboard, I would I would misclick more than less, honestly. Gonna make a 2-2 Shark here. Get at least a blocker in play, hopefully. Don't have Stomp. Stomp would be so bad. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. If only I had a Cascade Bluffs to filter this mountain, huh? Alright, let's find a burn spell. So I guess I want to filter like this so I can keep Pierce up. All in on finding a burn spell here. It was bad. Yeah. Relic continues to be a good card against Hellraiser. Yeah, Paul, yeah, Paulo's got a great. Uh, I would really recommend watching that video, Aquinas. Pop the Relic, turn off the Hellraiser. Research desk. Can't never beat that card. Two damage treasure token into yeah. Steal an elemental potentially if they don't have din up. I guess maybe I have to. I guess I've killed the the din if they do. But hit two season pyromancers, both pretty tough to beat here. I imagine maybe I go like. Counterspell Season Pyromancer into two damage treasure, go to one. Don't like it very much. Maybe looting is better, it's kind of tough to tell. They do a spike field hazard, they do a bolt, they do a stomp. But if all they can do is cast the Season Pyromancer this turn, we can actually start to stabilize. So I kind of like this line. So we're on Steel Elemental Block and Elemental at the moment. Not great. And that's still what we're on. At least we found some painless lands. Hopefully my opponent's just on. Make a Bone Crusher Giant. Fury or Brotherhood End. Uh, maybe. I don't know that we're supposed to really make any like big life decisions based on a match against the Mono Red Obosh deck. But those are definitely cards to consider, of course. With you know, with I, I do agree with the point with um with all of the just spot removal in our deck, we are cold to um tokens you could have dragon looted um you know hardcast dragon 
I like looting over treasure. Uh, maybe maybe looting over treasure is better there. Tough game for sure. Yeah, but Dragon was doing very well that league. Definitely, definitely was a spot I liked it. We'll definitely play more of this deck. Dragon was awesome. Likely, you know, deck also very much felt like kind of a somewhat untuned first draft. I could certainly see um, a harder white splash. I could see some Furies, Brothers would end. Definitely in the 75 somewhere. Yeah, the Obosh deck is so hard to play against too. Okay, uh, I think we're going to call the stream there. I'm a little under six hours, but like really, really good stream today.